It is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Man, I've got a fun one today. We're gonna do Falling to Pieces by Faith No More. This is such an odd song. It's got such an awesome groove, great melodies, great guitar parts, just really driving guitar parts. Not very hard to play. Uh, Jim Martin, he just he just kind of had this really cool way of just creating this really uh, instantly recognizable guitar parts, but they're not like that overly challenging, but they're quite uh, quite epic. To pun intended. So, uh, we're gonna get through this one. Killer bass lines in this one as well. Um, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you know see new videos. You can like and comment, watch the videos. That really helps more than anything. And please support my Guitar Academy. You're gonna see a link to that in the description below. You can really learn how to play guitar, learn how to transcribe all these songs yourself. Uh, you don't need schmucks like me on the internet. Uh, you can learn how to do that in my Guitar Academy. Um, and you'll see a link in the description below. Uh, it'll give you a free seven day trial. You get full access to all my courses, um, from complete courses for beginners to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, uh, theory, guitar tone, everything. I go live, I stream live with like just Academy members every week so you can ask me questions in real time and get real answers. All right, so I hope to see you there. Let's jump into this. We're in standard tuning here. We have this main riff that kind of goes throughout the verse sections. We have this... <laughs> So it's a fun riff to play. So it's just kind of uh, kind of palm muted on the A string. Kind of just uh, just it's kind of down up there. So I go a couple of down ups, and then I'm going to quickly pick the third fret there on the A, and then back to the open, and then a, a couple more, a few more hits on the open A. Then you're just going to hit an, an an A power chord. Try this. And then you go back to this. So that one's a little bit shorter, so, but it's still just. So it's basically a couple hits shorter on those. You still do that little, grab that little third fret on the um, A string. So one, two, three, four, third fret. And then a couple hits on the open A, and then back to that. A power chord that you you kill it this time. So we have this. And after you've killed that A power chord, you're gonna go to a G power chord. So this, you really what you're hearing on the recording, uh, you can play it as a full chord, but as you're really hearing the top four strings. Open D, G, third fret there on the B, and third fret on the height. You're not really hearing that whole chord there. You can see him play it like that live. But you're really hearing this top notes. So we have this. Then back to their riff. And then, the, so in the repeat of the riff, the second half of it, instead of going, again it goes, which is just kind of one, two, three, then that third fret, and then the, the A power chord again. So, so kind of hit three hits, slow hits, just all down strokes. And then that third fret, and then the, the A power chord. So it's a little bit different rhythm. So we have this. And then actually, after you do that, it goes back to that G chord again. So the whole riff basically is that. Should be that. All 
All right, then we get to what I call, it's almost like this song has two pre-choruses in it. They do the pre-chorus, they don't go to a chorus, they go back to the verse, that main riff we just played, and then they go to another pre-chorus, and then they get to the actual chorus. It's just a very interesting how they lay out the song. But anyway, this section right here, it's always kind of confusing because the keyboards are going too, so it, it makes it sound like there's some picking and stuff going on, but it's really just kind of playing these chords like this. <laughs> That little lick at the end is pretty cool. And then it goes back to the main um, riff. So basically we're playing this D chord twice. And then you just go to this open D, open G, first fret on the B, and open high E. So, so twice on that D, then that chord, and then do it again, again. And then end it on that D, so wait this. And then we have this, this little kind of thing that sets us back to repeating that, I guess. Which is just the open A, then play the third fret, and pull back off the open A. So we have this. Then you go back into the riff again. So you basically do that D, D, C, D, D twice, and then we go into. I'm oh, sorry. So that's basically a sliding into. You can do it like that, uh, but I'm just kind of playing it like this. Just sliding the third fret up on the G, over the, up, to, up to the fifth fret there on the G. I'm sorry, and then play the third fret there on the high E. And then the same thing, two frets higher. So you're sliding to seven over to five on the high E, and then slide to nine over to seven on the high E. And then you have all these. Uh, uh, these little minor third intervals, which are going to be the F sharp there, the the, the uh, seventh fret of the B, and the fifth fret there on the high E. Then come back down two frets, and then back up. So. So. Uh, And then back to that first riff. Kind of let that last chord ring. Because then we're going, you just so you basically did that main riff one time. And then we go to probably the true pre chorus, which is just. Into the chorus there. So it's pretty much just an E major chord to a D major. Do that three times. And then the fourth time, kind of hold that E and then go, which is the open E and a slow bend at the third fret there on the low E string. So. And then the chorus looks like this. Put me together. All right, so that chorus is just an A major chord, or A power chord, to a D major, to E major. And that same, that little open E to the slow bend of the third fret on the low E to lead us back to the beginning of the, the, the progression again. So it is. Again. One more time. So three times. When you get to that E now, hold it a little bit and then just go to a G major. It's really a G power chord. So it's uh, yeah, the third fret on the low E, mute the A string, open D, open G, third fret on the B and the high E. 
together. Then it does some cool bass stuff. Then it goes through the exact same thing that we just learned again. Then it does another cool little cool thing on the bass, not on guitar. And then it goes to the exact same thing that we just covered again. Except when you get to the end of the song, that chorus that we just, just played a lot longer. It just keeps going. Uh, but uh, other than that, so it's basically what we just covered. Repeat three times and then extended chorus at the end. It's a really fun song to play though, especially that main riff. So hope you guys will have fun with it. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.